All right, I found him. So, uh, he <laughs> was just off to the left of where I was, and I found that lady that's, uh, apparently supposed to help you during the fight. I do believe this is her, right? Yeah. Uh, Nephi Nephili Lu? Nephili Lu Warrior? I believe that's her name. Uh, gave it my best shot. Try Warrior and then good luck. Oh, good luck. Ah, uh, that's not what I want to hear. Why is it always on the brink? Help me. I don't want to go in there, bro. I, I haven't gone this way yet. I see this little scarab guy, but honestly, I kind of just want to jump right into the the fight. Uh, first off, let me see if I have enough of these guys to maybe get rid of the souls I have. So that's going to be 12. So that'll bring me up to 6, maybe? No, not six. Just shy of it. And this will bring, bring me up to six, actually. That's still not enough, is it? Also, I picked up the the golden seed on my way here, so I can boost my flasks. Well, I, uh... <laughs> I think that's really all I can do in terms of prep. I could probably try to knock out a little bit of farming to um, to get those last 3,000 souls, but honestly, again, it's not that big of a deal since I can just get 3,000 souls from uh, from farming at the hill. You know, it literally takes me dodging a boulder six times on torrent, and that's, I mean, it's not difficult. Uh, but... As of recording this, uh, it's actually been like almost a whole 24 hours since the last part. I recorded the last part. Uh, <laughs> I, this is actually the day before I'm supposed to go. Alright. Oh, this is the guy from the trailer. Okay. Yeah, I know because of the walkthrough, trying to find where this guy was. I do know... Yeah, I do know that this is, in fact, Gotrick, and, uh, I don't know what he can do, but I am absolutely terrified. Okay, I kind of rolled into that. Tag team him. Roll back, roll back. Okay. So, he's got an axe, which, uh... I would say is actually a kind of good thing because um, he doesn't have the the range that I would typically. Oh god, combo extender! <laughs> oh god, I should have seen that coming from a mile away. Um, he doesn't have the uh, the range problems that you would typically have to deal with. Oh, actually, this is a zone where I can summon my wolves. I just realized that. Um, Okay, let's send those guys in. I think at this point, I think the the person I was watching, I was watching Fighting Cowboy. That guy's awesome. Um, I think you can... Um... Oh, God. Make sure I don't die. Okay, so this is like phase two or something. I think this is when he summons the dragon head from the trailer. Uh, oh, I chopped off his arm. Jeez. Um... Anyway, based off of um, the walkthrough I was watching, I was trying to skip through most of it so that I didn't get spoiled for anything that I might have missed. But I know I did miss a couple of things. Yeah, here it comes. He's gonna take the 
dragon's head. You like to see that uh, dragons still hold so much weight and relevance in even in Elden Ring. Uh, anyway, I, I know that I missed a couple of things. Like I know you can get a, an Ash of War for Gotrix. Um... Damn, that is so cool. Uh, Gotrix soldiers, but I think this is fine as is. I think I'm gonna heal. Uh, that's still a bit of a range issue now. Um, although I will say that's kind of interesting how it complements his uh, his uh, his gameplay. So he's got the axe that's really good for up close and personal fights, but now he's also got a ranged option in the form of this dragon head. Um, so that's cool. Kind of running through flasks a little bit faster than I would like. Okay, I can't summon them again. I'd like to take one side. Oh, I'm not doing any damage. Oh god, and he is damaging me. Uh, she is really good. Oh god. I gotta I gotta I gotta learn that that is not how you dodge that attack. She's done. I think this might be it for me, boys. I'll do what I can, but uh Okay. All right. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him this time. Yeah. Damn. That was that was that was not bad. <sighs> if I if, if I've learned anything so far, it's that that's probably going to be my best attempt. My best <laughs> attempt for a while, which is kind of unfortunate, but um we'll see what I can do. Uh I guess if I keep trying things out, I'm wondering if I should go to the round table and maybe boost this weapon. Do I have enough for this yet? No, I don't, sadly. Um, hmm. This just is what it is. Should I use my shield more? I can I can do a run where I try to use my shield. Let's uh. Let's grab her. And I I think I want to do phase one the same way, or at least similarly. Uh, six Crimson Flasks is great, and being able to summon the Lone Wolf Ashes is great, and having her is great. It's like a... It's like the reverse of Dark Souls 2. It's like a gank squad except for the boss. So that's actually really awesome. Let me go grab my ruins. Actually, let's... Let's run away. Just want to quickly... Yeah, I, I can't even get in anyway. Um, now let's give it a shot. Wow, he really does like that move, huh? It's his anti-gank move, I can't blame him that much, so. Um, but, let's see what I can do here. Wow, that the range on that thing is actually kind of impressive. Not doing great for my second attempt here. Okay. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't summon my wolves earlier. I think I realized this because... Oh my god, why am I so dumb? It was because I was out of FP. Anyway, um, yeah, this is, as I expected, going significantly worse. God. I'll just go ahead and take that... <clears throat> if I'm, like, clearing my throat a lot, you'll have to apologize. Or I'll have to... You'll have to apologize. Apologize for me. Um... Oh god, I should not have jumped through him. Uh, that was certainly a mistake. Okay, yeah. Thou, thou art unfit even to graft. That's kind of mean. I got you down a pretty decent bit last time. So I'm hoping this is not a repeat of Murgit, because honestly, um, I just don't have the time. Like, today's the last day. I also have to edit all of these videos. I Oh, not all of them, rather. I have to edit four of the six that will be coming out. Uh, and that's pretty nuts, because, again, you know, it took me four days. Or, not four days. Um, It took me an entire day to do two. So I don't know how I'm going to do four videos in one day. Uh, if you're not seeing this until later on in the, in the week, uh, after I have... Uh, supposed to have returned, uh, then you know why. It's because I was unable to get all of the videos out. No! Come on, dude. 
This again. Okay, okay. Just roll like a madman. Um, I think the thing to do is, um... Wow. Okay. Uh, I think the best thing I can do for myself is learn his attack patterns. Uh, which is, I mean, it's true for all Dark Souls bosses, but, um... Oh, I did not know that was the edge. I was very lucky that I just happened to not die. Um, can we stagger this guy? To oh, okay. I don't want to fight here anymore. Um, yeah, I was about to say, like, does this guy just not ever stagger? Like, please. Alright, I should probably back up now. Heal. Oh, please tell me that didn't take a flask. Come on. <clears throat> okay, it didn't take a flask. Um, what should I do about this? Do I just run like this? The the thing for the flames looks like it's gonna nag me. Uh. Oh, I don't have any f f cerulean dudes. Uh. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the clearing the throat. It's just um. Oh god, I got I gotta figure out that timing. It's super delayed. Um. So, honestly, this boss does not seem as... Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to say that. I was going to say this boss doesn't seem as difficult as uh, Murgit. Uh, and for as true as that might be just based off of my first couple of plays, uh, I'm not going to say that and then end up getting destroyed for hours on end. I, I, I am doing a little bit better this time, but again... There's no reason that that remains the case. Oh god. Come on, come on, never never PD uh, P2. Yes! 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 Second try. Or was that second try? I don't care. Wow. Bathed in the rays of gold. That was nowhere near as difficult as Murgit. I mean, I had like Gotrick's Great Ruin. Wow. Wow, you you are awesome. I love you. <laughs> My new favorite waifu. Everyone's like, oh man. Bro. I like uh, what's the queen's name? Marika, I like I like Marika. And then uh, uh people like the redhead chick and then the the our rent a girlfriend uh, <laughs> our rent a girlfriend um uh maiden. Uh, and there's even that chick in the round table that, that gives you a hug when you first meet her. This is my waifu. <laughs> she helped me beat... I, I keep... Oh, no, no, he is Gotrick. Um, yeah, she helped me beat Gotrick, man. He was, like, a big deal. Whoa! That's a lot of souls! <laughs> or runes, whatever. How should I spend them, though? I'm not going to put anything into dexterity because this axe is fine right now. I'm thinking this might be the axe that I make into the Leviathan axe. I want to check what the... Uh, I might have mentioned this in the second part. Um, but I got this this character model, like the, the measurements to make him into Kratos. I got it from a person who made like a, a an actual like Kratos character. And he had like the magma swords or blades or whatever as the chaos blades. And he had a Leviathan axe. I'll have to see what he used as the Leviathan Axe, but, I mean, if he just used this and put, like, a cold, uh, like, imbue power on it, then I'll just do that. But for now, uh, <clears throat> I think I'll just want to dump in a strength, honestly. Uh, said I wanted to get 40 Vigor, which, <clears throat> fun fact, one of the things I picked up, um... I don't know if I mentioned whose playthrough I watched earlier, but it was Fighting Cowboy. Uh, I love his stuff. Uh, his walkthrough was how I got through the first Dark Souls. And, you know, now I can clear clear the game pretty easily, but... I was watching his walkthrough of Dark Souls to make sure that I got, you know... As much good stuff as possible, and I didn't miss out on any secret stuff or hidden stuff. And it was my first Souls game, so, you know. But... Uh, he did say in the video that I that I watched for this uh, walkthrough area, he did say that 40 is the soft cap for Vigor, and that is my plan to to get to 40, so I think that's a good number. I think, think maybe I want to put... I would like more stamina, though. Oof. 
This is actually pretty difficult. Uh, let me see how much I can put into Vigor. It's only two points. Okay. Um, that gets me that. <clears throat> I think I, I can safely rule out Strength. I feel like I'm doing decent enough damage. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to put it into Endurance. I'm going to do 40 Vigor, 20 Endurance, 60 Strength. We're going to shoot all the way up. And then 20 Faith. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, uh, I, was, I was talking about it before, but I got distracted by uh, Gotrick. I am going to do that. Right, that. That sounds perfect to me. Um, I don't want to check out the new stuff I got. But, uh, uh, yeah, if you guys notice... If you guys ever notice in any of my videos that I'm, like, coughing a bunch... Didn't expect Dragon. I did! You gotta watch the trailer! First off, well done. Yeah, no, 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 wait, wait, appraise that. Yes, dude. Every time I hear somebody encouraging me, I, I feel beholden to that. No head ahead. Bruh. Um, <clears throat> but... Yeah, if you hear me, like, clearing my throat in any of my live playthrough videos, which I usually cut it out uh, on scripted videos and, like, post-commentary videos, but if you ever hear it in, like, live time, it's because I'm, like, lactose intolerant or something. I'm, uh, I'm a little soy boy. Uh, so, what the fuck is that? Have you been here the whole time? Damn! Damn! Who are you? <clears throat> Is this the guy from the the gate? Filthy slug! I love this guy. Time for fingers. Visions of pathetic sort. Victory. Yeah, damn straight. Um, I love this. Who are you? Are you? Are is this the guy from the gate? Gotrick was always looking down on me. So you are the uh, resentful. Um, I had the word for it before, like a like a servant. I guess that works. Resentful servant. So we're getting the deep lore here. Gotrick was a bad boss. Okay. Yes, it, it he is. He is. Um, makes you wonder if this guy is really as bad as as you know I first thought. Um, because on one hand, it, like he he could have just been doing that out of fear for his life. It's like, oh well, if I don't trick this tarnished into becoming a flayed shish kebab, well then. I mean, Gotrick's gonna kill me. Or he's gonna graft me, which would be even worse. Uh, pretty sure grafting is worse than death after what I just saw. But, on the other hand, this might just be like, uh, for those of you that are familiar with Metal Gear Solid Five, which I'm assuming a lot of you are, because that's what got the biggest explosion of views on my channel so far, but also, I won't, like, assume that you, you know, have any experience with the title, seeing as this is not related to it in any way, but for those of you that aren't familiar, there's a character in the game called Huey Emmerich, and he does something similar where you beat the, for all intents and purposes, he looks like, he looks like the, the worm lady from Spongebob, the, the old fish lady. I remember when they invented chocolate. I hated it. <laughs> um, anyway, there's a character named Huey Emmerich, who, when you beat the final boss, like, it's revealed pretty early on in the game that he betrayed you to this guy and caused you to lose before the, the main game begins. It's like, your your team was doing very good, and then Huey betrayed you to the final boss, and the whole story is, uh... First off head, first off fire. Interesting. Um, it's all about, like, redemption from that moment. But, uh, he... When you defeat the final boss, you, like, maim him horribly, and he's, like, bleeding out and suffering, and then Huey goes and kills him, and he acts like that's, like, his revenge, even though, technically speaking, he, he just spared him 
the suffering of having to bleed out. Wait, didn't expect life? Okay. Lovable sort ahead, therefore offer Elden Ring. I did it. Oh, that, okay, that was the final boss. And <laughs> I wonder if people actually thought that. They're like, wow, I beat Murgit, and I just beat the final boss, and that's it. I, I beat the Elden Ring. Well, okay, what is this? I remember I got this from the Dung Beetle. Summons vengeful spirits that chase down foes. And that's a sorcery, okay. Uh, there are a couple of things that I've gotten my hands on but have not actually looked at. And I know that I'm in a safe area right now, so I don't really have to be concerned. Boosts Godslayer incantations? I remember I got this, but I don't really know what's up. Maybe if I look at things through the search... Is it a consumable? First off, let me remove these because they've all been used. Um, okay, so we have our... I probably should have put that on, but it's kind of hard with bosses because you have no way of knowing for sure when that that one is going to be, you know, the, the one that, like, you actually beat him and don't waste your silver pickled foul foot. Uh, but on the other hand, even if you do know, like, I knew when he had, like, a smidge of health left and, you know, like, my, my assist had more health than he did and she was, like, pounding into him. They were, like, trading blows like some kind of anime, and he was on the losing end. Even then, I knew that she was gonna win, but I was just so excited and so caught up in the heat of the moment that I didn't even think to, uh... Oh, I have, uh, the higher level golden runes. Uh, I didn't even think to, um... Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. Remembrance of the grafted. Okay have to try to figure out what that does but that sounds like it's a soul or a ruin that you can transmute into a weapon you know as as per is the case with a lot of boss souls in the Soulsborne series um but you get you get so caught up in the heat of the moment that you're not even like thinking about oh this is it i'm i should put on my silver pickled pickle foot do i just i thought this was a thing <laughs> is this just Godric's empty-ass throne now? Like, <laughs> I guess. Oh, okay, we got the deep lore here. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not getting up there. Um, there's got to be some kind of double jump in this game, yeah? Or, like, can, can you summon Torrent in this room? I imagine that is not the case, but... Uh, that was pretty much all I wanted to do before the end of the recording session, but I will run this to... Half an hour, praise the message, then behold the secret passage. Um, is there a secret passage over here? I forget how secret passages work in this game. I don't want to like accidentally drink a flask like I did last time because I'm stupid. Um, I, I'll go to the 30 minute mark and then I will call it for this uh, six unguarded butthole required ahead all right well i guess i'm getting fucked uh <laughs> seek ahead okay message ahead okay didn't expect enemy well that's because you just left the safety zone i do believe or i guess i left it a while ago but this does seem like the continuance ladder ahead god these guys are just um you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right, you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right. Okay. Um. What is going on? <laughs> so here's, like, more stuff. Madness ahead, seek fruit. Visions of lake. Yeah, do I get, like, cool stuff for beating the boss? Like, other than the stuff that I've been given, which was cool? Necessary item ahead. You guys suck. Confusion required ahead. What? Who are you? He's, um... 
take my grapes. Try fruit, then mushroom? What does the message say? Didn't expect fruit. But he says it's a grape, dude. I, I did. I took your grapes. I don't understand. Is this... Is this the legendary deep lore I've heard so much about? Let's try going this way. Anyway, like I said, I just wanted to get the boss finished. Oh, it's raining. That's a bad sign. Uh, behold Elden Ring. What? Is, is there... Am I gonna see an Elden Ring? G grass. Touch grass, bitch. Fruit ahead. Okay. Seek grace, try left. Okay, so I, I did see that at the corner of my eye. First off, well done. Uh, then just getting started. Yeah, really, this is pretty much like the first dungeon, so, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, Liernia of the Lakes. I hope I said that right. Um, wow. Yeah. I'm just really excited to learn the lore of this world. Uh, like I was saying before, I've tried to say it a couple of times, I've kind of cut myself off with amazement and wonder. Um, the plan right now is just to knock out the, the rest of these. Now it's pretty much five minutes left. Uh, 30 minutes in all. Um, by the way, yeah, I know what the skulls do now. Um, but I just want to get like a 30, 30 minute video done. And, uh, well, hello there. Um... And then I'll be done. But I, I just wanted to get... I didn't know how much time I was going to need to beat Gotrick. I thought he was going to be way harder than he was. And who knows? Maybe for some people, uh, Murgit was really easy. But Gotrick, like, kicked their ass. I can maybe see that being the case with um, sorcery builds. Because Murgit was, like, his infinite combo extender. Um, well, actually, no. It'd probably be the worst for builds like mine. Um, which I just realized, I said I was going to use the shield, and I literally never used the shield. <laughs> um, but I, I just realized it's probably worse for mine, because he's got those AoE attacks. So if you try to gank like I did, well, I mean, it's that's not necessarily a good thing. He's got an answer for that. Anyway, let's see. Apparently this lady wants the grapes? Hayeta? Yeah, this one wants the grapes. By the way, if you hear any, like, humming in the background, it's the mail truck. <laughs> You're hearing the mail truck all the way, like, 50 feet down by the road. Because, uh, a finger maiden? I forget, is that, like, is that, like, the long way? I'm giving her the, the grape, alright? I'm, I'm a simp, alright? Guilty as charged. The distant light. The fingers. As you wish. You are, most kind. May the blessing of the are you gonna be my friend now? Or like, was that just like a small side quest or something? Okay, so it wants me to go that way, but there's not really much to do that way. Like, like if I were to just run off this cliff, I would cease to exist. I feel like I, I want to go back. There was another path. Um... Real quick, I'm gonna cut to the other path to see if anything interesting happens, but if not, then I will cut back here and, I mean, do some kind of outro. Uh, I usually don't do outros for these, but, I mean, you guys are aware of the recording schedule in terms of, like, I, I, I recorded the first two, so part three and four, uh, like, four months ago, and then these last four parts... I just, uh, I, I just recorded recently. Alright. This was the path I was talking about. Elden Ring ahead. Alright, y'all are... What? This is why I came all the way back here. <laughs> so... The way that all the messages are talking... is like, this throne is... Has some has some further plot relevance. It's not just the throne of the guy we just beat. And I want to say that this is this is uh, Gotrick, right? 
uh, man, I, I'm so looking forward to finding out about the lore of Elden Ring. But, you know, I gotta be careful because I don't want to spoil myself. And I, I know three of the major people involved in all of the lore of Elden Ring are Melissa, I do believe her name is, the red-headed lady. I don't want to look because I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, Ryan, which uh, I do believe the name is, uh, that's the name of like the strongest person in like the whole series. It was that big, massive guy that M Melissa, or Melina, or whatever her name is, who she was fighting in the intro cutscene. Um, and then... Uh, I think the the last like central figure of the story is Marika, and I have met exactly zero of those people. So I guess that's going to be it for this part and this little six uh, six video onslaught that I've just finished. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I am really enjoying playing it, and uh, to try to get some tips on how to do the videos and like what a proper playthrough of like a, a Soulsborne game should look like. I've actually been watching um, other people's playthroughs of like past uh, Soulsborne games. Like I was watching Fighting Cowboys uh, first Bloodborne playthrough the other day. The first Bloodborne playthrough playlist he's ever made. And I've been watching some old, like, like a seven-year-old prod Dark Souls 3 playthrough. So... Just watching how they've done stuff, you know, what do they do with the audio, right? For example, I noticed that prod, you can hear everything that's happening. Like right now, I'm going to rock my, the arm of my chair, and you're probably going to hear it, right? You probably very did, very well did hear that. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about the quality of the audio as much as I am concerned about the quality of the gameplay and quality of the commentary, which I hope is at least decent. Um, but if all that stuff is good, then I can start worrying about things like the audio quality and maybe recording the audio for the game and the audio for my commentary on separate tracks so I can edit my, my audio by, uh, muting the background noise while keeping the audio in game untampered with. Because right now, if I were to reduce background noise on my audio, it would also cut out all the sound effects and music from the game. Anyway, like I said... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys don't have to wait too long for the next part of Elden Ring, because now that I've beaten Gotrick, I am absolutely hyped. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.